Brain Simulator 2, the basic neuron model. The Brain Simulator implements a vast array of artificial spiking neurons, and there are two ways to implement functionality. In this video, I'll discuss the basic neuron model used in the Brain Simulator, where you can create functionality by controlling individual synapse connections. In the next, I'll describe how software behind any group of neurons can implement more complex functionality. Within the brain simulator, the state of a neuron is represented by a single floating point number. Synapses consist of a floating point weight and a reference to a target neuron. Neurons can have any number of synapses, and the total number of neurons and synapses is limited only by the available RAM. When a neuron fires, it processes all its outgoing synapses and adds each synapse weight to the value of each target neuron. If those neurons' values exceed the threshold level of 1, they will fire themselves. This algorithm represents a simple, plausible implementation of biological neurons. The firing rate of biological neurons is several hundred times per second, but in the brain simulator you can slow down the speed so you can see individual neurons fire. I can cause a neuron to fire by clicking it with the mouse. As an example, by connecting one neuron to another by a synapse with weight 1, after the first neuron fires, the target neuron will always fire. With a synapse weight of 0.5, the target neuron will fire after two firings of the first neuron. Synapse weights can be negative and so inhibit the firing of the target neuron. By connecting a neuron to itself with a plus one synapse, if the neuron ever fires, it will fire continuously until some negative synapse causes it to stop. In this way, I can use a single neuron as a single bit of short-term memory. I don't know if this specific neural circuit exists in your brain, but it is likely over the millennia that evolution has tried out all possible combinations of small numbers of neurons and synapses. Lots of interesting sophisticated circuitry may exist like this one, which creates a chain of firing neurons. Or this one, which is a similar chain, but has a speed controlled by the firing rate of another neuron. Or this one, which represents a two input NAND gate. Learning, in the AI sense, consists solely of modifying synapse connections and their weights. This is not inherent to the neuron model itself, but is handled by external software, covered in a subsequent video. For more on this timely topic, read my new book, Will Computers Revolt? Preparing for the Future of Artificial Intelligence. Available now at Amazon and book retailers worldwide in paperback, hardcover, and ebook editions.